Hi guys, today um, I'm going to be showing you how to reset your BIOS password in um, a HP Elite Book or Pro Book. Okay, so before I start to show you how to use this program, um, firstly you're going to need um, a memory stick, one that uh, you firstly you've got to take off all of your stuff just so because you've got to format the memory stick and um, and then put this image file on which you've got to download. So you'll only need a memory stick and you'll need the ability to change the boot options so you need to boot from USB hard drives. So if you can do that then you're good to go so uh, I'll show you on to the next part of the video. Alright so here we go so uh, this is a video I found I actually I searched how to reset the BIOS Hang on. Uh, 8530W BIOS res BIOS password reset and hopefully it comes up. Yep, this is a site. So I click this site here and this is where I found like there's a there's act someone ac someone's actually made a program and it actually uh to actually remove the password on the BIOS because obviously I got this laptop and there was a BIOS password and I had no idea what it was so obviously I wanted to uh remove the password so I could actually change some BIOS settings so I was happy that I found something I thought it was something really dodgy before like um you were completely wreck your computer but as I said I watched this video and it worked fine so I decided let's just give it a go and see what happens but um so some some of these on this site I wouldn't use any of these links some of them are dodgy because if you looked at the owner of the program the owner of the program actually said wherever it is uh, he said uh, where is it uh, this a guy has been putting bad links on and for like old files and it and it uh, wrecks people's computer if you just read a bit highlighted but anyway uh, enough about that so the the creator of the program is Mazif, by the way. So credits to him for actually making this program and making this work because it worked for me. I'm just going to show you again how it would work. Okay, so uh, across this, I've gone onto this video here, and I went onto this link, and this link is a really good. One. Okay, so this shows you a forum on uh, how to use how to use it. Someone has actually uh, Quasim0438 has actually uh, put a link to the download of this program and uh, it's actually in the form of an Im Im image file for a USB so there's a program that comes with it which allows you to put that program uh, that image file onto your memory stick so you can boot off that memory memory stick but this will all come clear later on but um, he's explained how to actually oh no he's explained how to actually use it. It took me quite a while to understand it. Well, I I understood it. It's just it was a bit confusing on what to do, but I understand I understood it perfectly after like thinking about it. So, uh it shows you the options, but I'm going to show you this anyway in when the program's in use. So, it shows you how to do it. Uh, it shows the supported models. I've got this one here. And uh so let's uh show you downloading the uh program then. Right, it's being slow because I'm recording. I'm sorry about the microphone. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's gone a bit weird. So, download thirty one point six six megabytes. I might pause this video here. Actually, you bet better watch these dodgy uh, windows that pop up when you click download. Because it, yeah, don't know what it does to your computer, but obviously I've already downloaded it. But I'm just gonna da call it just one. So, in fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna save it on desktop. I'm gonna make a new folder just for this video. <coughs> Let's just call it um, BIOS reset video. That's all I can call it off the top of my head. So, let's save it now on desktop. Save that, and I will show you the. Uh, I will show you um, our video outside the computer and show you me putting the memory stick in, showing you what to do and how to do that. But 
for now let's just open it so you need WinRAR to open uh, or another program like 7-zip to unzip the program first so just cross that in case anything dodgy comes up um, so this is the program this is what you'll get out so let's uh, where is it so this is going to be here so this is what we've downloaded so right click extract here you get this here so you'll get um, an in image file for the USB stick that that runs its own uh, s boots so you can boot the USB using this image file right, I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean by this so it's an image tool to let you do this so um, I'm going to show you how how this works right now okay. all right so once your mem memory stick is in then um, this this one's mine here uh, it's already got the uh, image file on it but I'm going to show you I'm going to format it and show you how to do it because this is the bit that most confused me out of the whole process of uh, deleting the BIOS password so um, I'm going to format this using the tool SD formatter okay I need to mention that um, once you put the image file on the memory stick that the co maximum capacity will only be th that many that much instead of two gigabytes which mine is but this program can easily fix that so I've already got the image file on and I've only got that a little tiny bit of uh, capacity on the memory stick I'm just going to show you uh, how to just get the full capacity back and I need to do this, do this anyway just to show you putting the image file on so just click just go in the options click full arrays click off because that will just change the capacity so then you um, make sure you've got the right uh, memory stick you want because that would be horrible if you deleted the wrong one uh, do not yeah okay so obviously I've got so you can see I've got the full capacity again so that's just to show you uh, that this program can restore the capacity of your memory stick so now I'll just show you the uh, I'm sorry about if it lags quite a bit so now where is it this PC you can see I've got nothing on this memory stick and then that's it so now this is now this is the import the uh, more confused, confusing part so you'll need to go into so this is the folder this is where you extracted uh, the download so you click that here go on USB image tool <coughs> then you will click this alright so this is what will come up once you click this tool here so uh, this is the, my memory stick which is in you will click this your memory stick that you just formatted you'll click this click restore you'll choose the image file that the came with the download and this is so this oh this is in the wrong folder this is the folder when I did it so you'll get the you'll go to the folder so we this is the folder we were using so this is the download and this is the image file that you'll be using right here the one that came with the download so you'll click open and do you want to restore this with this click yes shouldn't take too long there we go <coughs> uh, so that's that uh, as you can see the size has been changed back to the 32 megabytes which I showed you earlier but that program can uh, fit, put it back to the original size so alright so enough of that so we've put that on so now I'm going to record the screen now with my camera and show you me actually changing the boot order and show you the process of resetting the BIOS password. Okay, so this is the memory stick in. It's uh, the computer recognises that it recognises that it's in. So what you need to do now is uh, shut down the computer. Shouldn't take too long. And then um, once it's off, turn it back on. And wait for it to load. I'll try and get this. Okay, F12 boot up. Oh no, not F12. Shit. Right, so turn the computer on. Back on, and then um, click Escape. And then 
click boot device option. You can just click F9 straight away, but if you click S escape, then um, F9. Then uh, you want USB hard drive, so click that. <coughs> and it should come up with a weird screen like that, and then it'll come up with the program. See, obviously, the as if the who made the program. So you want to put type in DOS first, then you'll get these options. So I did, I did first run. I'm not, I'm not going to do it now because this program it's really risky. It could properly uh, wreck your computer and completely you just get a white I think you just get a white screen and that's it but um the system error so you can't do anything with it you can't even put windows on it you can't use the computer at all so so that's why I'm not going to do it again I I did it once so with this program I'd recommend you just do it once then just leave it don't do it again and try not to forget your virus password again so um but the video that I'm going to put in the link in the description shows um the exact thing that happened when I did this so you, you all you have to do is click first run click enter then choose the um your laptop model <coughs> and then uh then it should just do what the video what uh it shows in that video that in the link right so thank you for watching uh this tutorial on how to uh reset your bios password for um hp elite book and pro books um the bios password um, it's 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 much more harder to reset the BIOS password for like the H, uh, Elite books and Pro books because the BIOS password isn't actually stored in the BIOS itself. It's like um, stored in a different chip. And that's why taking out the battery like doesn't work resetting the password. So uh, in order to reset the password, you'd have to take the computer apart, remove the chip, and then solder a new chip back on without a password on it. So, but then this program it just does it instantly. It's Amazing. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I um, hope you understood what was going on in this video, and hope it helps. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.